the zine. What we're going to work on now is a document that is partially finished, but we're going to continue working on it and complete it and then publish it and package it, etc. Ready for commercial printing. But before we do that, can we all go to Window, Workspace and select Typography. Then Window, Workspace, Reset Typography. This is so we have our paragraph styles, our character styles and our text wrap. If those windows aren't showing up for whatever reason, remember you can turn them on manually by just going to Windows and selecting the corresponding window there. Then if we go to File, Open and select our Zine ACA file. Now, if we go to our Pages palette, you can see we have a document consisting of 12 pages. And we can also see our pre-flight down the bottom here is coming up with an error. So if we double click on that, it tells us it's a text error. It's some overset text and it's in text frame on the page four. So if we double click, it's jumped to this frame. It's saying this frame here, it, as you can see, the out port here is red still. It says, I've got more text to apply. So if we really wanted to apply it, we could click there and apply elsewhere. But it's not an issue. It's not something we're going to be doing or need. Um, it's just a demo for today. But the error is there to show you they exist and the pre-flight and what the pre-flight is for. So we're not bothering about this error. It is there for demonstration purposes only. Next up, we're going to look at something called master pages and page numbering. So if you double click on page 10, 11, and then I'm going to magnify the left hand side to red splodge, shall we say. You'll notice it's got number 10 written on it. Now this is the page number for the page number 10, obviously. If I scroll all the way across to the other side, we've got the red marker, but no page number in here. So we're going to fix that. Now this is done with something called master pages. Now if you have a look at the top of your pages palette, you'll see something called a master, a master. Now a master page is a page that contains any repeating data that you want to repeat on every single page that that master page has been applied to. Now for example, I go back to my page 10, so you've got number 10 written there, you've got a master, now a master has been applied to it because you can see the A's up in the top. So anything that appears on these master pages will appear on both of these pages, but you can see it's been applied to every single page in the document. By default, when you make a new page, it will take the master page and apply it to it. Now, double click on your master page. It looks like things haven't changed. But if we look carefully, we'll notice it hasn't got a number here anymore. And down the bottom here, it says a master. So we're definitely not on page 10 and 11. If I magnify, you see it says a rather than a page number. That's because the master page is not part of the document. The master page doesn't print. The content will print if it's part of the document. And what I mean by that is if I do a quick text frame, for example, on the left master page, sorry, the right master page, and then if you look down here, you can see on every single page, this black dot is starting to appear. So for example, 10, 11, there it is, 8, 9, there it is. 6, 7, there it is, etc. It will appear on every page where that master page has been applied. It may be hidden on some pages if it's on a lower layer. Why we're we talking about layers? Open our layer palette. Now you'll notice our layer palette has three layers. It has a master layer, a text layer, and an image layer. The master layer I use to contain all data that I'm going to place on a master page. The reason being is Page numbering. You usually want your page numbering to appear on top of whatever is in your document. So I make sure page numbering is on the top. Text will contain anything on my text document. Images will contain all my images. Images being at the bottom because usually you want your text to go over the top of your images. Remember this affects the entire document, not just the master page. So I'm going to make sure I'm on my master layer because this is what we're going to work on. Collapse that window. And we're going to magnify over here to this side. 
And then what we're going to do is add a page number in indicator here. So my type tool, I'm going to draw a type frame. So just with a type box, type tool selected, drag the type frame out. And then I'm simply going to go to type, insert special character, markers, and there's something called current page number. Now the A comes up. Remember, it does an A indicating it's a master page, i.e. not a master page, but a master. So the page doesn't have a number, so it just comes up with the A. Select it, and we want to make it the same style as the other side. We've already got a character style for this. You go into your character style panel and click on page number. Then it's direct selection tool, drag it across, and you should be able to see it come up. Now I'm going to manually resize this so it's roughly the same size as our guideline or margin and the page edge and then drag my frame down until it snaps to that center guideline and once that's done I'm just going to justify it to the center if you can't see justify tools up here remember a quick way of getting to them is either swapping over to the text tool and changing it, but you can also find them in the paragraph panel and just select center. So it will appear in the center. Now if we go back to our, actually before we go back, double click the hand tool so you can see everything. Go back to our pages and if we jump to 10, 11, scroll across, we should have page number 11 appear in here to prove a point, so we scroll in. There we go, page number 11. So the page numbering will now appear on every page that the A master has been applied to. Now, what would happen if you didn't want page numbering to appear on a page? So for example, if I double click my hand tool, go to my pages palette, double click on page 12. Page 12 being the rear of the magazine and an advert. Now the advertisers do not want this nice lovely style appearing on their advert for example so we need to get rid of that we don't want that appearing so what you do is in the masters there's one called none so we literally just drag that onto the page we want to apply it to and none means exactly that no master page it removes the master page that is applied to that page if we did want the master page back on that page, or a different master page, we simply just drag the master page onto it and it reappears. But in this example, we no longer require it, so we are going to remove it 